Hey, it's Earth Castle. Ever seen the impressive, outstanding and beautiful maps of Gary's Mod and wanted to make one of your own? Well, you have to start somewhere. A lot of hammer tutorials can feel very overwhelming for beginners, so I've decided I'd make it an easy tutorial for people who just opened hammer. The first thing you should see is this, or this if you're using original hammer. If you're using original hammer and my setup looks a little different, don't worry, everything still pretty much applies the same. The first thing you want to do is look over to this sidebar and click on the cube. This is called the brush tool. It's the building blocks of mapping, quite literally. Once you've clicked on the cube, go over to this side where it says no draw and click on browse. This is the texture browser, which is where you'll find all your textures. Scroll through the list and find the texture you like, preferably a floor. If you're having trouble finding one that you want to use, you can use this search bar right here. Now close the texture browser. These three grids and this box right here is where you'll be doing most of the work. Click on the grid label to top. You should be able to make a square. I recommend making it 10 by 10 on the grid. To see what you've made, you can use this box right here. If you move the view by pressing right click or Q, you should see the square you made on the grid. What you draw on the grid will appear in this box. This is your first brush. Next, look back onto the sidebar and click on this button. Then click on your square. This should make a small green man. This is an entity, and as of right now, an info player start. This is where the player will spawn when they enter your map. As of right now, your map is just a single grass square. So let's add a small, simple house. First, select your cube again and find the grid labeled side. In this grid, you should see the side view of your grass square. Draw out another square above it, like this. You'll see the outline in this box, so you can make sure you get it the correct size. I find it easiest to make houses in the top view. Go back to the grid label to top view. You should see the wall you just created. Now you can make the other two walls of the house. Since you selected your walls, all other walls you make will be the same width and length, unless you choose to change the side. For the entrance of the house, make two shorter walls on either side, with space for a door. Then, go to the side view and draw a line above the house, and in the top view make it go over the whole house. This will be the roof. I've made the roof a different texture to make it easier to see, but I've only done this on the inside. How have I done this? With this tool right here. This is optional, but it will help later on in mapping and generally makes your maps look better. Click on this cube and it should bring up this menu. This may look complicated, but don't worry, it's not nearly as hard as it looks and it's pretty easy. Click on browser here and it should bring up the same menu as the texture browser from before. Select a different texture from the one you've already used and right click on the side of the wall or ceiling you want to have that texture. This should apply that texture on the side you selected. You might notice your house is lacking a floor. To add one, we'll have to move the house up since the grass floor is in our way. To move the whole house up, you can select this cursor, hold control and click on all pieces of the house. Then in the side view, click on the center of the house and move it up. Now we have space to add a floor, pretty much the same as the ceiling, but below the house instead of on top. But now there is no easy way to get inside the house and you'd have to jump to get in. To fix this, select the cube and make a small, wide cube using the top and side grids like before. Then click on this ramp. You can now slice the cube in half by dragging it out where you want the slice to be. The part that's white will be kept, while the part that's red will be removed. If you make any mistakes along the way, you can always press the backwards arrow up top to go back. Now you should have a ramp to your house. 
If you want to know how to make stairs, watch this video up in the corner. Currently on our map, there's no border between the playable area and the rest of the grid. The map doesn't currently know where the light from the sky should be either, since there's nowhere indicated for the sky to be. To fix this, we must make a skybox. If you've played a Valve games before, you've probably heard of these. You may be thinking about the 3D kind, but for now we'll just make a simple 2D one. To do this, go back into the texture browser and find this texture. You can make it much quicker by searching for Tools Skybox. Make sure you choose the blue one. Then, make a cube around your whole map. Next, go up to this top bar and click on Tools and Make Hollow. Set this number to minus 32. Now you should have a hollow cube around your map, with this blue skybox texture. It may not fit your map properly, so you can make the grass fit the corners of the skybox, or make the skybox fit the corners of the grass, though this is optional. Make sure to make the skybox tall enough to fit your player. Next, we'll make a source for all natural light in this world. To do this, select an entity tool or duplicate your green man, and double click on him. This menu should appear. Click on this bar right here, and change info player start to light underscore environment. I'd also recommend making the pitch value here minus 50 instead of zero. Now we have a small house with a nice outside field and a sky. But the inside of the house is still dark. To fix this, we can make lights. To do this, make another entity and change info player start to light. This should make this light bulb. This will work as a light, but it's not coming from anywhere, like an actual light bulb. This brings me to the final part of the video, props. To make a source for your light, make another entity and change info player start to prop underscore static. Then click on this value that says world model. This browse button should appear. Clicking on it will take you to the model browser. This is like the texture browser, but instead of props, you can choose from a model. You can choose a model from this list on the side by clicking one of these. You can also search it to make it easier, like in the texture browser. Once you find a light model you like, press apply and the entity should turn into the model. Then position the model wherever you want the light to be, using the selection tool, and position the light entity right beneath it. This will give the effect of the light model lighting up the room. You can also make props that move. These are called props underscore physics, and follow the same method as props statics, but with a changed name. If you're using a prop underscore physics, you must use a model that can be moved. There is no easy way to tell which can and which can't, but the best way is just if it looks like it would be able to be moved, from what I know. I've chosen to use these barrels, but you can make any model you want. To play your map, first click on file up here, and save as. You can name it whatever you want your map's name to be when you open Gary's mod, and play it. It's recommended that you don't put spaces in your map's name, since it can mess up it appearing in game. To open and play your map in game, press F9 and press OK on the menu. This should open up Gary's mod and load your map. If it doesn't load up, you can also go into the other tab of your map browser and select your map. And you should be able to play in your first ever map. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed make sure to check out my other hand related videos and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!